I'm now at the Hamamatsu booth talking to Butch Mumar about the Orca Flash 4 camera. So Butch, tell us about this new camera. Well, thank you, Julian. I'd be happy to do that. This is a revolutionary new camera, and as you can see from all of our promotional things, we call it changing the game in the uh, biological imaging market, especially for live cell imaging. Uh, this camera has a lot of new features. Uh, basically, it's a CMOS camera instead of a CCD camera, which means that we can have many more pixels that can be read out at a much faster frame rate with much lower read noise, which means for live cell biology that the cell viability goes up, the image content per image goes up, and fortunately the price goes down. So it's kind of a unique way of uh, approaching the new biological market for the people that have to go extremely fast with these very delicate cells. So um, I'd like to show you some of the features in the camera. They're, I have them on this monitor, but basically we promote it as being a camera that changes the game because of those features. As you can see, it has over 70% quantum efficiency, which is unusual for a CMOS camera. Most of them are limited to about 50%, so we have a much higher collection efficiency in, in the camera. It also reads out with uh, at, at 100 frames a second with 4 million pixels and with only 1.3 electrons read noise. In the past, you'd be lucky to get 2 million pixels at 50 frames a second with 6 electrons read noise. So it's really a, a huge improvement in the imaging capabilities in the biological market. Uh, one of the advantages, of course, is that uh, with the 4 million pixels, we have a much larger area. So for every uh, snapshot you take, you collect a lot more information. Uh, it's about 60% more information per field than a standard two-thirds inch camera. The other good part is, as I mentioned, the price is lower. So this means that people who are on limited budgets can now have much better uh, technology for capturing their images than they could with a CCD camera of similar or you know, similar capabilities. So Butch, can you tell us, uh, give us a specific example of the sort of applications that will benefit most from this camera? Oh yes, yes. Um, we have uh, customers already who are doing things like super resolution where they have to take hundreds of images at very low intensity. They might have to take 200 images for each plane that they take because of the statistics of the images. So for the super resolution, the folks who have been using things like electron multiplication CCDs, they get a much larger field of view and they get uh, better image quality with less noise. The, this camera has no multiplication noise in the, in the statistics. So the statistics are much better for super resolution applications especially. Um, people that work in very low light levels with uh, living cells, they're always concerned about how long the cell will live so they can monitor the cell process. And by reducing the illumination levels, that makes the cells live longer. So with this camera and the lower read noise, we can take lower images with lower intensity on the cells and the cells live longer. And can it be fitted to any microscope? Absolutely. It's a standard C-mount up here, a standard 1X C-mount. And uh, all the main microscope manufacturers make a C-mount like that for their microscopes, both upright and inverted microscopes. And in fact, this is currently being adapted by some of the other companies in the, in the hall uh, to work on an electron microscope. They make a special uh, lens with a vacuum chamber that it goes in the vacuum chamber. And this camera will soon be available for electron microscopy as well. Okay, Butch, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, sir.